On the Ukrainian-controlled side of the front line near Horlivka, it's too dangerous to walk close together. From a distance, Russian hybrid forces could have anyone in their sights. The bigger the crowd, the easier it gets to hit it. Vitaly has been on the front line since 2014. He is surrounded by soldiers of different ages and professional backgrounds from all over Ukraine. I'm a teacher of history and geography. So he has so far spent five months at the front line. He strives not only to teach history, but also to help make it. I arrived at the thought that I must try my hand at this, instead of watching from the sidelines. This is our ancient enemy. Russians were our enemy for 350 years. Just recently, one of their units was killed in shelling. He was only 20 years old. Those deployed here are determined to stay in service until victory comes. Some thought it would be just a short flash, just two or three months of shooting, and we'll be on a victory march. But no, this is not going to work out so quickly. Right now we have to hold the position, plan ahead and advance when the opportunity arises. Our correspondent says right now this area is quiet and Ukrainian forces don't open fire. But when the enemy makes an attempt to incur losses and presents a real danger to military personnel, our soldiers are always ready to return fire. We follow orders to cease fire, but not firing at will is one thing, but when there's a threat to your life, it's completely different. Another possible danger lies in the attack by subversive groups. The Ukrainian servicemen say they are ready to repel any unwelcome guests at any time.